Johnson's Wax Program with Fibber McGee and Molly. The makers of Johnson's Wax and Johnson's Water Repellent Glow Coat present Fibber McGee and Molly with Bill Thompson, Gail Gordon, Arthur Q. Bryan, Cliff Arquette, Bud Steffen, and me, Harlow Wilcox. The script is by Don Quinn and Phil Leslie. Music by the King's Men and Billy Mills Orchestra. Fibber and Molly, join us in a moment. Here is a message of vital importance to you as a homemaker. Millions of women already know about the wonderful new water repellency of Johnson's Glow Coat. They know that water repellency means better protection for floors, for water doesn't penetrate that hard glow coat surface. It means less work, less hard scrubbing. It means money saving, too, because water repellent glow coat now lasts up to four times longer. But if you haven't tried it, this is the time of all times to do so. Because right now at your dealers, you can get one-third more glow coat at no increase in price. That's one-third more of the new glow coat with its new water repellent properties at the price you'd usually pay for the regular amount. Get this wonderful self-polishing floor wax now when you can get it at such a bargain. Look for the special giant cans, either pints or quarts, that gives you one-third more at no increase in price. Get Johnson's Glow Coat in the giant cans at your dealers tomorrow. It's Circus Day in Westville Vista. And Circus Day anywhere means that parking places are at a premium. If you have any regard for your fenders, you pay the premium. Like Fibber McGee and Molly. But how much you charge to park here? Buck and a half, mister. Mm. Only two spaces left, so we can just get your car and four others in. <laughs> Better take it, dearie. This is as close as we'll ever get to the circus ground. And the parade goes right past here, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Here you are, Buster. Thanks, mister. Uh, take this card, too. My brother runs a fender and body works, and he'll take the dents out of this car for you cheap. There aren't any dents in it. <laughs> You're new here, ain't you, lady? <laughs> All right, folks, plenty of parking space. Park right here. Come on, Molly, let's get a good place at the curb so we can see the parade. I want to be able to wave if I see any of my old pals from the circus. My goodness, Jerry, I didn't know you had any circus friends. Oh, my gosh, kiddo. Show business is show business. Lots of the people I and Fred Nittany knew in Vaudeville have went into circuses. Whatever became of Fred Nittany? Last I ever heard of him, he was talking about opening a restaurant. <laughs> Yeah, all actors talk about owning a restaurant, Snoopy. <laughs> they like to be close to the grocery. <laughs> and I don't know where old Fred is now. He tried... Oh, hi there, old-timer. Hello, Mr. Old-timer. Hello there, kids. What you doing out here? On the street? <laughs> Waiting for the parade, old-timer. Then we're going to the circus. Mostly on Molly's account. Sold stuff to me, of course. Been on the stage most of my life. I was 37 years old before I ever went in the front door of a theater. <laughs> Must have been a long line ahead of you. <laughs> what was playing there, dearie? Speaking of long lines, daughter, that's where I come from. Of circus folk. Yeah? Ever hear of Madame Van Dyke, the bearded lady? Oh, sure. Know the name well. Well, kids, that was Papa. <laughs> Was a daredevil. Daredevil? She used to shoot him out of a cannon twice a day. They didn't put enough gunpowder in one day, and Uncle Cyril lost his job for turning up half shot. My <laughs> interesting family. You think that's interesting, daughter? Well, let me tell you about Grandma. Grandma? My grandma was the first woman fire eater in the circuit. Wow. Sylvia Stromboli, the lady volcano she was built as. <laughs> How did her dentist bill himself? Dr. Sender, the ember to remember? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you should be. Well, sir, Grandma was a very talented woman, kid. Yeah? She could drink a cup full of naphtha, strike a match on her teeth, and boil a T-bone steak at 50 paces. She <laughs> must have been a popular girl at Weenie Rose. I guess you just got to have a flair for that sort of thing. <laughs> well, Grandma had a kid. Come in very handy during the winter time. Grandpa used to set her in the fireplace, touch her off, and she'd keep a five-room house very comfortable all winter long. <laughs> what did they do at night? Shut her off or bank her? <laughs> <laughs> the 
strange you should ask that, daughter. Grandpa was just fixing to fit her with a thermostat when the accident happened. <laughs> What's accident? She get put out about something? <laughs> no, Johnny, she got a hold of some bad benzene, and when Grandpa started to kiss her goodnight, she got a bad case of the hiccups and set fire to the finest handlebar mustache east of the Rockies. <laughs> he was so burned up, he stormed out of the house and got a divorce on grounds of lip arson. <laughs> well, uh, where is he now? Well, sir, he changed his name to Billy Mills, Got a job leading the band in a circus, and here he comes now. Hiya, Grandpa. Grandpa, it's me, Stinky. business as long as me and Fred Nittany was. You remember me speaking to Fred Nittany, the fellow from Starved Rock, Illinois, that I and he were in vaudeville together for so long, so long ago. Yes, mm. yes, I do, dearie. Mm. Though I haven't heard you mention his name for at least five minutes. <laughs> Any kind of show business always reminds me of good old Fred. Fred was the kind of... Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what on earth was that all about? <laughs> oh, there's always pickpockets in a crowd like this, you know. <laughs> I keep a loaded mouse trap in each pocket. <laughs> when you've been in show business as long as I... Oh, hey, look, one of the elephants has got loose. Where? Right Where? over there with the elephants. Oh, no, no, that's Doc Gamble. <laughs> Hi, that's so. Hello, Dr. Gamble. Taking in a few of the concessions? Yes, and vice versa. But I was called out here on an emergency case. Yeah? It seems the India rubber man sat on a hot waffle iron and gave himself a retread. <laughs> Having fun, children? Oh, yes, indeed, Doctor. <laughs> McGee explains everything to me. He knows all about circuses because he had an act in vaudeville once, you know. Yes, I heard about his vaudeville act. Ever play Petoskey, McGee? That the one where the deuce is wild and you can't melt and you get seven of the time? <laughs> Oh, dear, that's Kanaska. Oh. <laughs> Petoskey's a town in northern Michigan. Oh, oh, Petoskey. Oh, sure, sure. Me and Fred Nittany played there. That's where our act busted up one winter, and Fred organized a ski meet. Yep, had a great slogan, too. There's no business like snow business. Ah, <laughs> uh, but Fred was a, he was a great one to let things look, slide. Look, 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 McGee. I'd like to stand here and let you bore me with your dull past, but I've got to get over to the fat lady's tent. Oh? Uh -huh. Somebody told her she had seven toes on her left foot and she wants me to check up. Why doesn't she look at them herself? She hasn't even seen her knees for 20 years. <laughs> she weighs 412. 412. How'd she ever get so fat, Pat? Same way anybody does, Sonny. She just kept saying, I'm going to start my diet tomorrow. <laughs> well, enjoy your...
enjoy yourselves, children. Okay, Doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go get our tickets for the big tent. Show won't start for now, but if we have our tickets... Oh, ladies with that great modern miracle, that wonder of the age, Johnson's Water Repellent Flow Act. My gosh, that guy will do anything. And to... for a limited time only, through all Johnson dealers everywhere, a sensational offer of one-third more of this amazing new product for the same old price. Yeah. A pint and a third for the price of a pint, a quart and a third for the price of a quart. Or think of it, folks, Johnson's genuine water repellent glow coat in the giant size can. It stays on and it stays bright and absolutely water repellent. You had a question, brother? Yeah. Where are the dancing girls? <laughs> <laughs> All over the United States and Canada, brother, because women everywhere dance with joy when they hear about this great money and labor-saving oh. offer. Now, if you'll just step inside the <laughs> That was quite a trick, Molly. How'd he manage to get that can of glow coat into your purse? Oh, he didn't. He hmm? saw me buy it at Kramer's Drugstore. Oh. I was in there to pick up a quick magazine because it has our pictures in it. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, come on, let's go over and watch the monkey. Fred Hippie and me had a monkey in our act once that could do much. Well, you go ahead, dearie. I want to throw rings at the canes and try to win a prize. <laughs> okay, Tootsie. But I warn you, you can't win. A lot of these games are gimmicks, you know. But if you want to throw your dough away, you'll find me over at the monkey cage. Oh. I wish old Fred Nittany was here. He'd get an awful kick out of this. I wonder what old Fred's doing now. Hi, old Moon. Hi, Nancy. Oh, hi, Steve. <laughs> yeah. You enjoying yourself? Sure I am, I betcha. Good. Me and Willie Toots, we've been in all the side shows, and we went in the animal tent, and we saw the hippopotamuses, and the rhinoceroses, and the zebras, yeah. and the giraffes, and Mr. McDonald from the Third National Bank, and the laughing hyena. What was the hyena laughing at? Mr. McDonald. <laughs> I can understand. Where are you going now, sis? I'm going down the midway here and see my Uncle Paul. Oh? He's got a booth here, and maybe if I be real quiet, he'll let me watch him paint a gyp. Do what? Paint a gyp? Sure. My daddy says Uncle Paul is one of the biggest gyp artists in the world. <laughs> So long, sis. Don't take any wooden popcorn. Oh, hi, Molly. Well, how much did you get took for this time, Tootsie? Oh, just a dollar and a half, dearie, but I want a Cupid doll. A Cupid doll for a buck and a half? <laughs> now, I warned you. My gosh, a buck and a half for a 20-cent plaster doll. It's... What's that stuff? <laughs> well, uh, these are the other things I want for my dollar and a half. Oh? Camera, Navajo blanket, an electric razor, hmm? and an ashtray, and a pair of field glasses. Ooh. Oh, yes, and 12 pounds of candy. <laughs> I'll bet it's cheap candy, too. You can't win on them things. <laughs> Come on, uh, let's buy our tickets for the main show before it gets too crowded. All right, dearie, whatever you say, you know show business. You betcha. Hey, me being in show business, I ought to get a cut rate on these tickets, Molly. Hey, bud, we want a couple of tickets. I'm McGee of McGee and Nittany, snappy songs and witty fame. You give courtesy to actors, 
Very little, sir. Hmm. I've always found him a rather rowdy lot myself. No, no. He means, sir, that he's an actor. Or was. He says, though, <laughs> there was quite a bit of discussion about it, but they never proved that he wasn't, and that would you give him a cut? Well, that seems a little drastic, madam. Why don't you just belt him one with your cheapie? <laughs> Okay, bud, skip the cut rate idea. Sell us a couple of good seats, will you? And hurry, please. I've been looking forward for a long time to coming to this circus, and I might add, with great gusto. Well, 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 so you, sir, are the great gusto. <laughs> huh? I've seen your act in vaudeville hundreds of times. Oh, yeah, but now, but look here, And you, I... madam, are, I presume, Mrs. Gusto? No, no, sir, I'm Mrs. McGee. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. McGee, but did you ever see the great Gusto's act in vaudeville? Oh, he was marvelous. What illusion. Now, now, just a minute now, boy. I think you're confused. No, I'm Prince Whistle, Mr. Huh? Gusto. Oh. <laughs> Bascom W. Prince Whistle. And on behalf of the circus, I'd like to present you and your daughter, Mrs. McGee, <laughs> with two complimentary tickets. Reserved? Well, ordinarily I am, yes. <laughs> Like this, I get quite emotional, Mr. Gusto. Yeah. Oh, your magic act was one of the finest. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Let's get this straightened out. His name is not Gusto. His name is McGee. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought your name was McGee. It is. What became of the great Gusto? <laughs> Did he do his great disappearing act for us? I'll swear I was looking right at him. Gad, what a marvelous illusion. And you, sir, what can I do for you? <laughs> My name is McGee, and I want... Oh, yes. Your husband just arrived, Mrs. McGee. Huh? Oh, you should have been here a moment ago, sir. The great Gusto was here and did one of his great illusions for us. Disappeared right before our eyes. <laughs> that isn't the only good trick he did. He left his complimentary tickets in my husband's hands. Yeah, right here. Ha-ha. <laughs> well, sir, if the great Gusto wanted you to have them, sir, you are certainly welcome to them. We merely require that you play the nominal service charge. What was that again? <laughs> service charge. Oh, I thought I said that. Yeah. <laughs> I am? Yeah. I thought I was just so. Or no. <laughs> we rarely require that you pay the nominal service charge and amusement tax. That's it. That'll be, uh... <laughs> Let's see, that'll be $14.90. <laughs> Mr. Prince Bascom. Whistle. <laughs> no, no. No, I meant my name is Print Whistle. Oh, look, but I... Move well, along, I... move along, folks. Huh? Now next, who is next in the line? You, sir? No, I've been here all the time. My name is... Oh, skip it. Come on, Molly. <laughs> Kingsman and hoop de doo Well, the guy 
Mac says it starts at 2.15, but that's just to get you in there so you can buy programs, slips and balloons and candy and get gum on your shoes and your hair full of sawdust. <laughs> we still got time to see some more sights, well, though, tonight. Well, well, hello there, Molly. Hello, McGee. Having fun? Oh, hello there, Mr. Mayor. Yes, yes, we are. Lots of fun. Hi, Ella Trivia. Lots of fun. What you doing? Collecting the poll taxes for the tent pole? <laughs> I am here, McGee, in what I consider the best interests of the taxpayers. Good for you, Mr. Mayor. Yes, yes. I felt so tired today that I knew if I did any work, I'd louse it up. <laughs> so, I came to the circus. I see. It's lots of fun. Yeah. Besides, I have a great interest in the entertainment business. Ah, uh, yes, we know. We've met her. Yeah, nice girl. Where is Fifi Latreff? I was not referring to Miss Tremaine. Oh. No. Oh. But I have a morbid interest in giraffes. Giraffes? Oh, do giraffes fascinate you, Mr. Mayor? Why? Because, being a politician myself, I'm always amazed how any living creature can stick his neck out that far without uttering a word. <laughs> well, personally, Latrib, I like circuses because I'm an old showman myself, you know. I had a vaudeville act with a fellow named Fred Nitney from Star Rock, Illinois. He and yes, I did so. yes, yes, I know, I know. Greatest act vaudeville ever produced. My gosh, where'd you hear that? From you. Oh. <laughs> At least a hundred times. A mm. modest estimate, I'm sure. Oh, do you have to go, Mr. Mayor? Yes, yes, I do. I'm going over and get a glass of punk lemonade. That's pink lemonade. I've seen it. It's punk. I've tasted it. <laughs> Right this way for an opportunity to win fame and fortune. Test your athletic prowess against Tiger Janhansky, the Balkan bomber. Born with three sets of biceps and has held every wrestling title in the United States and Europe. Oh, a wrestler. Light heavyweight, junior light heavyweight, heavy light junior weight, lightweight junior heavy, heavy junior lightweight. <laughs> and also a hula hula champion in the Cooch is Cooch Can division. <laughs> McGee, isn't that? Why, sure it is. Horatio K. Boomer. Hi, Boomer. Ah, oh, yes. The sound of shovels digging up a dead pad. <laughs> Ix nay, I can cray ump chay. If the uh. up K hear that ain't nay, I'm an ed day up day. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Step right up, friends. $25 in cash to anyone who can stay one round with Hydrogen Hounsky, the Balkan bomber, that mass of muscle and barrel of brawn from the back of beyond. Hydrogen? <laughs> muscular development of the region of the trapezoid, friends. This magnificent development was caused by years of trying to recover stuck nickels and paid telephones. <laughs> I just can show the people how you can tear a telephone book into microscopic fragments with your bare hands. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, that's a pretty thin telephone book. Where's that from, sir? That, my pretty, is the telephone directory of Naked Joe, Missouri. <laughs> we select a small community so as not to frighten the citizens with the superhuman strength of this magnificent anthropoid. Oh, he's an anthropoid. All right, folks. <laughs> Who has the courage and audacity to wrestle Hydrogen Hansky one round for the sum of $25? Oh, I wouldn't. Hey, hey, I'll take him on. Whoa. 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 Take it easy, kiddo. Take it easy. For 25 bucks, I'd wrestle Gargantua in a three-foot ring. All right, one side there, folks. Let me through there. Okay, Boomer, I'm your man, boy. Ah. 
E, you are simply magnificent. <laughs> Did you ever do it? Oh, shucks. Nothing that any red-blooded American boy couldn't have done with a little conniving. <laughs> the easiest twelve and a half bucks I ever made, too. Did you say twelve dollars and a half? Yep. I thought you were to get twenty-five. Well, I was to get twenty-five, but I thought it was only fair to split with the rattlers. Hydrogen Hunsky? But why? My gosh, kiddo. Don't you know who that guy was? That wrestler? That was Fred Nittany. <laughs> Fred, the fellow from Star Rock, Illinois. I mean, he had a bottle right there. River and Molly return in a moment. One third more wax at no increase in price. One third more glow coat, the self polishing floor wax that is now positively water repellent. That's the bargain you get right now at your dealers when you buy Johnson's glow coat in the special giant containers. Yes, there's one third more glow coat in the giant pint, one third more in the giant quart. The minute you see these special cans with their special labels, you'll see what a bargain this is. But remember, this offer is for a limited time only, so hurry. Get one third more floor protection at no increase in price. Get water repellent glow coat in the giant containers tomorrow at your dealers. Uh, Molly, may I have a word with you? Certainly, Mr. Wilcox. I have been asked by the subscribers to the Telegraph Delivery Service representing 5,500 retail and wholesale florists to present you with this award, Mother of the Year for 1950. Well, my goodness, I... <laughs> it's made in the dual recognition of your successful career as one of America's foremost radio entertainers and your more important role as a real-life American mother. Well, thank you, Mr. Wilcox, and thank you, subscribers to the Telegraph Delivery Service. It's a great honor, and I accept it gratefully. What do you think of that, McGee? Uh, I think it's wonderful, kiddo. It's always amazed me how you could send flowers by wire anyway. <laughs> yeah. When you think of some guy walking maybe from California to New York, along them telegraph wires, 40 foot off the ground, <laughs> carrying a basket of flowers to somebody's mother for by George... No, 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 pal. Uh, well, a florist in one place, wires a florist in another place. They don't walk the wires. That's silly. Yeah, dangerous, too. <laughs> Good night. Good night, all, and a special good night to mothers everywhere. <laughs> Makers of Johnson's Wax and Johnson's Water Repellent Glow Coat, Racine, Wisconsin, and Brantford, Canada, bring you Phil McGee and Molly each week at this time. Be with us again next Tuesday night, won't you? Spring's the time when everyone wants a bright and shiny car to drive. And that means spring's the time to clean and polish your car to gleaming brightness with just one application of Johnson's Carnew. Yes, Carnew is that wonderful auto polish made by Johnson's Wax that cleans and polishes in one application. Rub it on. Carnew cuts through traffic film and road tarnish water won't touch. Wipe it off, and there's your car shining like new. Yes, rub it on, wipe it off. That's all you do with Carnew. Your car shines brighter because Carnew cleans cleaner. Get some tomorrow. <laughs> Here, Big Town, then People Are Funny on NBC. Mm -hmm.